Hey YouTube, how's it going? Kevin Cleary here with a first impressions video on one of the new 2018 Zero Tolerances. I've got to say a huge thank you to Scott at The Real Bush Monkey for letting me check this out. It's actually on his its way to him. Uh, and just if you're wondering, the knife is exactly as described. It's in perfect condition. I've had it out of the box. I just boxed it back up to make this video. Uh, wanted to say a huge thank you for those of you who, are participa who participated in the sale yesterday. I do have a few things left. So I'm gonna give you a quick update. The Lion Spy is still available. The One-Eyed Jack is still available. The Crooked River is still available. The James Brand Slip Joint, the Spyderco Little Lum, the Spyderco Kiwi, the Benchmade Mini Grip, and the Sog Kiku, all still available. So if you wanna go check the description box on that video, there may be something that you're interested in. And uh, you know, we're a day out, so if you wanna make an offer on any of those, feel free to do so. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and check out this 0609. By the way, this video is posting uh, May 15th or May 16th, I guess. So if you're watching this two years from now, all those knives are gonna probably be sold or no longer available. Anyway, what we have here is the 0609 RJ Martin design, of course, new from Zero Tolerance for this year, which is, let me open it at the other end, which is 2018. Gonna have all the typical ZT stuff. You've got the paperwork in there, bubble wrap with that little sticky strip here, keeping it closed. And it does have that silica gel as well in there, which I previously took out from under the clip. So there's the knife. Uh, let me give you guys a nice close look at this because I do think this is a very attractive knife. Before I talk about it, just let the, the picture kind of do the talking for a second. Really, really nice looking blade. I've got to say, I love the satin finish here. I love the grind. By far for me, the standout feature of this knife is absolutely the blade. It is really, really nice. A bit of a departure for ZT, uh, a little slimmer on the blade stock, a little thinner behind the edge, really, really attractive. Now, let's go ahead, since we're already doing this, let's start working our way through these features here. The blade here is 20 CV. We've got sort of a, a modified clip point or maybe a, a modified harpoon grind here really really attractive as i was saying nice and thin behind the edge satin finish beautifully done as we move up here we have that pivot pivotless pivot which may be the reason some of you are buying this now to me the pivotless pivot is fine it's not the greatest thing in the world in fact in some ways it could be a detriment to the knife because you need a special tool to mess with it um, which you can only buy from zt not the end of the world, of course, but maybe not my most favorite feature ever. Finally, we have this very nicely milled titanium bronze anodized handle with standoff construction and that single position. Actually, it's a two position tip up left or right hand carry uh, pocket clip there. Uh, steel insert on the titanium frame lock, which we're pretty used to seeing at this point. Uh, so yeah, those are the details on this knife. Let me give you a nice close look at that pivot in case some of you are curious about it. As you can see, it really is see-through. By the way, I mean, this is the first time, well, I guess the 0606 is the first time this has been done on a knife, but, you know, having a pivot that's hollow in the middle that screws into one another, that's not unknown in industry. It's just that we didn't have any on a knife before. So kind of an interesting feature. Uh, again, it would have been more interesting if that tool shipped along with the knife. Uh, that, that's just my initial thought. The other thing I will say about this is this knife is just a little small for me. So having said that, I am very impressed by the blade to handle ratio. If you look at it there, and it, it's even maybe more pronounced in person, it almost looks like an optical illusion. Like it really looks like this blade is too long to fit in this handle. So they've done a great job with giving you lots of cutting power in a very small package. And so let me just quickly give you the size here. What do we got? So basically, hold on. So basically we're dealing with seven and three quarter inches, just a little under seven and three quarter there. Blade length is going to be seven or three and seven sixteenths, like just under three and a half inches. Handle length when closed, four and a quarter inches. So four and a quarter inches with a three and seven sixteenths blade. That's really, really impressive. And finally, I'll grab you the weight on this guy. Come on. Okay, so 3.6 ounces. 
again, fairly lightweight knife. And, you know, in terms of, you know, my initial thoughts on this knife, I'm not totally in love with the design, okay? But there are some things that really stand out to me. Of course, the fact that you're getting almost a three and a half inch blade in a very, very small, very lightweight package, that is pretty cool in and of itself. Um, and if this blade were put in some other handle, it's really the handle that I'm not totally in love with. Maybe by the time I get to the full review, I will be, you know, just raving about this. But at this point, I love the blade. Um, the, the pivot feels like a bit of a novelty to me and the handle is just there. It's okay. It's not the worst thing ever, but it's certainly not the thing that attracts me to this knife. So those are my first impressions on this very cool new zero tolerance. Now I am looking very forward to what zero tolerance comes up with for us at blade show. It's been pretty well attested that they are going to have some new models. So I'll be excited to see what's happening with that. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, and subscribe, and we will talk to you soon.